adventurers, welcome to Terrace Land where your adventure begins. In this video, we'll be diving into the exciting world of classes and customization. First up, let's talk about classes. Terrace Land offers a diverse range of classes at each with its unique ability and playstyle. Whether you prefer the brute strength of a warrior or the mystical powers of a sorcerer, there's classes for every single one of you. Now, Terrace Land is free to play and will be available on PC and mobile. If you are a mobile gamer, this game is for you. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. So first up here, we have the mage class. Uh, the mage seems like it's going to be a damage dealer, like your typical mage, as well as a range DPS. Uh, there is two set previews here. Um, one seems like it's a fire set and the other would be a mage or arcane set. So when it comes to their movement, they're four out of five stars, like your average mage, always going to kite and move around. Group importance, three out of five. So it seems like um, maybe not the most important, but just average. Uh, so this is your mage class. Let's take a look at the next one here. All right. So next up is your warrior. So you have your tank, your damage, as well as your melee. As far as available sets after the rage steel is created, you have like your you know your typical two-handed uh dual wielding warrior and here is the next set movement three out of five a little bit surprising you're typically able to move a bit more with warriors like with charge or leaps and other mmos so definitely interesting to see what type of movement they do have group importance five stars so that means either they're high damage or they might have a tanking class let's click the next button here see what this is Okay, this is their customization as far as height goes. And we'll get into the customizations a bit later. Now, uh, let's take a look at the next class here. The priest. So the priest itself uh, does a damage dealer, also healer and range. So they might have some sort of uh, shadow spec or a DPS set uh, spec available to them. Um, they do seem to be as like, your typical healer uh, where they're like a group healer. Uh, not like an off tank healer or anything of that sort. Uh, their group importance is five stars and their movement is three stars. Let's take a look at the other set here. So I'm not too sure if one of them is like a DPS uh, set and one of them is a healing set, but we'll be able to find out as we get into the game. Next up here, seems like your ranger. All right, yep, absolutely, your ranger. So this is a damage dealer and range DPS. As far as its importance here, group importance, three out of five stars. So DPS tends to kind of be able to be swapped out. We saw the mage with the three stars as well. Uh, movement, uh, four out of five. So it seems like you're gonna be able to do some kiting or moving around and shooting, hopefully. Uh, make it fun rather than just stand still. So some spec might benefit. Uh, where you kind of just stay in place, but we'll, we'll find out on that. Take a look at the gear sets here. Definitely looks awesome. I think this looks the best out of the ones that we've seen so far when it comes to their gear set. Let's move on to the next class, which is going to be looks like a bard. All right. Yep. Your bard. So bards are known for being damage dealers and healers, kind of like hybrids. Um, it is a ranged class as well. So they, unlike the other ones, they have a lot of movement and group importance. So it seems like if you're going to be playing a bard, it's definitely a role that you're going to need to take serious or be good at. So five stars when it comes to group importance and four stars when it comes to movement. Now it says here healers can gain dungeon company bonuses. Uh, that's just because usually healers tend to be uh, pretty scarce when it comes to MMOs. Everybody wants to play the DPS classes, right? So let's take a look at the other set preview, which is absolutely cool. I think we might lean towards a bard, um, and we'll definitely take a look at it and check it out. Because of the DPS, you can solo, and hopefully when we get into some groups, we'll be able to heal as well. Alrighty, let's take a look at this next class here some sort of warrior barbarian all right barbarian fighter so it says here you can be a tank damage and melee 
and uh, they do have a good amount of movement i mean if you're going to be a tank you're going to need to be able to get in position so we got four out of five stars group importance five stars so more than likely a tank a dual wielding tank which is kind of cool right um tanks can gain dungeon company bonuses as well tanks are not as popular as dps's so something to incentivize us to to play these classes that way we can get extra bonuses Take a look at the sets this looks cool these sets are getting even better look at those axes right there Alrighty, so that is your barbarian fighter Seems like paladin yep paladin here so paladin is going to be a tank dealer damage dealer and melee uh so also movement not as much as your barbarian fighter when it comes uh to the class they got three out of five stars when it comes to the group importance however it is also a five star so it seems like it's going to be a tank and uh yep you get your tank in game dungeon company bonus which is great looks pretty cool i do like the big old hammer next set yep always clean when it comes to the paladins right not as um you know barbaric like as the barbarian or the hunter um but very very clean looks good and let's take a look at this next class here seems like a, a rogue type or melee shadow swordsman so it seems like they do damage uh and they're a melee class right so looking at it here their movement speed four out of five stars so they're pretty uh you know squirmy they move around quite a bit which is great and uh looking at the group importance again dps seem to be about the three stars three out of five seem like they're interchangeable uh you know all of them uh, that we've seen as of right now you've been able to kind of swap them out they're all three out of five stars Let's take a look at the next set that looks pretty cool and it gives you like an undead uh feel this big old blade so that looks pretty awesome all right next one here is i believe this is the new class that they just recently announced we might play this one as well all right phantom priest so they're a damage dealer they're a healer and they're ranged um their move, movement uh the three out of five when it comes to movement their group importance five stars of course healers uh damage dealers when it comes like to these hybrids seem to very be very important in terrace land uh look absolutely cool kind of like a druid nature like this now this these are cool sets. look at that hair all right so absolutely um this is definitely another one that we'll test out but i am a bit biased uh, i'm been a healer you know uh for many many years about 18 years that's what i i main so anytime there's a healing class i get excited about it right um so that's all the classes once again it was the warrior the mage the priest the ranger uh we had the bard the barbaric fighter the paladin and this one i believe was the shadow swordsman and the new one the phantom priest let's take a look at the customizations uh more than likely i probably start off with a bard they might start with the new class let's take a look at what type of customizations they might have all right so you got your typical height here a okay, weight what's this mean okay, i guess weight is just can size might not be available for right now since this is the beta haircuts seems like there's about five haircuts here that one looks cool very nice looking haircuts to be honest that one's got the feather taking the short hair with the short hair hair color here blue reddish pink I do like the pink blonde white so you do have a few customizations when it comes to hair now there might be a lot more but once again this is just the second beta test that we're checking out here skin color 
Okay, just whatever tone you're wanting to play with. Eyebrows. Oh, this is interesting. I never know what a good set of eyebrows look like, but. Probably, probably these. Eyebrow color. Okay, you can match it with your hair if need be. Okay, actually, we're going to go hair color pink. Eye type. Okay. Can you zoom in anymore? No, you can't. So this is like some sort of design on your actual eye. I don't know if you're able to really see the changes there. We'll go with this one here. Eyeshadow. All right. I'm not seeing a drastic change on the eyeshadow here. I do see it change a, a little bit, but this have some sort of customization, which is cool. nothing over the top. Eye shadow color that's matching so you could just kind of match your hair your eyebrows the eye shadow kind of get everything in unison there all right let's go with the pink blush type okay so you could add some blush that looks cool you like that there color matching the colors once again you can kind of mix it up whichever you prefer i'm gonna go kind of with the all pink uh rose gold kind of style face makeup okay so this is kind of like the tattoos that was cool surprise there's not like a color for the face makeup These look cool because they kind of match the colors, like this one right here. But I also like which one is it? this one. All right, let's go with this. Let's click next. Your nickname. Please refrain from using your real name. Okay. We're gonna go with the filthy casual. Name the link between four and fourteen characters. Long. We're just gonna go with TFC TV, the filthy casual TV. All right, guys. Well, that was the video here as far as the different classes. Uh, we'll have more videos on the actual gameplay, and uh, we'll be making videos on the top classes, the class top DPS, top tank, healer, and which one's the most fun. So, stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video and we'll see you then.